Welcome to episode nine of Big Brenton Little Farm. So we've just gotten this pop-up uh, that the wedding ceremony is about to begin. If you can see in the background here, I've just changed up the greenhouse, hoping that this will work this way uh, because technically they're sheltered, but I don't, I don't know if the game's going to register that they're sheltered or unsheltered because it doesn't have any walls. So we'll uh, see that later on. But anyway, I'm going to click let's start. I'm going to take them over there. Branton, you can see that his hygiene's not looking the best. So maybe he'll have to go wash his hands a few times. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to take them over there and set everything up. So let's go. Oh, my goodness. It really is Sienna's luck that it is raining. Oh, no. <laughs> a beach wedding and it's raining. Holy hell. Okay, let's try and set this up anyway. Okay, I'm going to get Brenton to go here. Come on, Brenton, get up there. Perfect. Now, let's try and get this done, hey? Exchange vows and kiss. Uh, yes, okay, okay. Oh, no. I just lost that pop-up. Now, Brenton smells, <laughs> so it's already not amazing. People are kind of liking it. Why aren't you doing what you need to do? To do? We, don't ha we don't have an officiant. Everyone's being very loud while they're trying to exchange their vows. It's really rude. Oh, here they go. Here they go, putting on the rings. I can't stop looking at the fact that Brenton has green smell coming from his armpits. <laughs> oh, how romantic. Oh, 
Oh, how beautiful. Congratulations, Brenton and Sienna. It's been a long time coming. All of like three days or something. Amazing. How great. Okay, spousal kiss. Oh. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, we don't have a cake to cut because we forgot to bring the cake. I thought that I'd be able to get it while I was here, but that's okay. Uh, gather for the first dance. Let's see. We didn't get to walk down the aisle either. If they, could, if they pull this first dance off, because my sims never do anything that they're meant to do at all. Uh, come on, come on, turn on. Let's do classical. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone just thinks that Brenton st <laughs> stinks. Other people are definitely better at doing the, the wedding thing than me. I think it's the most awkward, I mean, wedding stories. It's just no. It's just a no. Like, I love all of the props and stuff that you're given and the wedding venues and everything like that, but <laughs> it's just such a fail, isn't it? Anyway, they've gotten married. Pissing down rain. Absolutely pissing down rain. But you know what? It's kind of a cute little venue that I created. I mean, it's very basic, very simple. Oh, Brenton's per his Brenton was cheated on by some what? Uh no. Cheated? Wait, what's happening here? It feels like it's been forever since Brenton has been romantic with his partner. It could be pa not with the dad. What in the world? No. Let's have a look at this. Sienna, what's happening here? Uh, well, I don't think so. There's, there's no, there's no romance bar happening, but they've got good compatibility. What in the hell? Why? Uh, oh my God. On the wedding day, five minutes after that, she's said the vows. I'm just in shock. Sienna, what? Oh my God. Sienna! I mean, is it because Brenton stinks? <laughs> Brenton, maybe you should go and get the baby out of the rain. I think that's a good idea. Go get bubs. Sienna seemed to enjoy that conversation with Dazza, especially when they explored more serious thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that Sienna likes deep thoughts? Yes, but I, I, I want to know what the conversation was about because Brenton's not... He's feeling pretty pissed. Okay, well, all in all, this wedding sucked. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's happening here? I'm going to open up this profile and see what's happened here because he's feeling like uh, hurt by Sienna flirting with another. So Sienna's flirted with his dad? Dun dun dun. Like, what? I'm in shock about this. Sienna is, was so loyal. Dazza, you freaking horn dog, you. <laughs> That's not okay. That is just not okay. <laughs> All right, the wedding sucked. Uh, Nelly looks great, though. Look at Nelly. She looks really pretty. I think it's time for them to go home. The baby's in the rain. Everything. <laughs> Brenton looks like he's been caught in a fire. He's going to shit himself as well. This has just been terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, <laughs> talk about an anticlimax. All right, the wedding's done. Let's let's just yeah end it early. Okay, that was possibly the worst sim wedding that's ever happened. Uh, so yeah, I guess I get the prize for that. Brenton definitely needs to go and have a shower because he just stinks like absolute. I don't God knows what. Uh, but yeah, take a cold shot.
congratulations on getting married to Sienna. I hope you two are very happy together. Well, Sienna did flirt with your husband on the wedding day, Nelly, so I wouldn't be that nice. But see, that's Nelly for you. Just, just a nice lady, you know? So anyway, back to the ranch. <laughs> um, here is... Now, here's the, all the plants that are under cover. So I'm going to get Sienna to maybe tend to these plants. We really need to harvest all of this and weed. I, I think it's time for us to actually hire a gardener. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So Sienna, get on the blower. And for people that don't know what that is, that's a phone. Uh, is it under social? No, it wouldn't be under social. It'd be under home or something. Hire a service. And schedule gardening. Should I get a ranch? I think that the ranch hand would be better. Okay, let's feed Bubs. What time? It's 6.25. Brenton, you feed Bubs. And Sienna, you can get out in the garden because, you know, you're a bit of a bitch flirting with Brenton's dad. So he can do the easy thing today. And Sienna, you can get the hell up and get out here and do some gardening. Flirty little bitch you are. Okay, so I just put down two, four, six, eight. I just put down 10 quill fruit to be planted and I'm selling these ones. So see how profitable they are? They're just so good. And they make you even more when it's when they're out of season. I think they're like $250 a quill fruit or something. It's crazy. Okay, so these, these are coming up as sheltered, which is good. That means that through the other months, they're still going to keep growing. Okay, last thing I'm going to do in this episode is I'm just going to check what the wine bottles are doing. So not yet, not yet, moderately and not yet, lightly aged, finely aged. Okay, so we can sell that off. Finally age. Oh, it was poor quality, but it still gave me 1300 bucks. So you know what? I'm going to still put the, the poor quality in there anyway. Wonderful. So all those bottles of uh, nectar has made us 17 grand. So Brenton is living the high life. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here uh, just because we've done so much in this one. In the next episode... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to finish off the house. So Brenton kind of wants to, and Sienna, they both want to live kind of mo um, modestly. So I'm going to create this into a double story. The bedrooms will be upstairs. Uh, I'm thinking about having a nectar making room in the in a basement area, but I really don't like basement areas. So I probably won't. I think I'll make one of these rooms the nectar making room. That way I'm just going to have like either a formal lounge room or a formal, formal dining and uh, we'll really revamp their kitchen as well. We'll just make the house amazing and then the house will be finished off. Then we're going to focus mainly on the horses and we'll focus on the, on the farming area. Brenton might also get a couple of little uh, goats or sheep, something like that, the little mini, mini uh, animals. And yeah, so Brenton's doing so well. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like my content, please like and, sub and subscribe. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.